Okay, we now have the sheep restrained in a much smaller area. You can actually catch them in a pen bigger than this, but it's always much easier uh, in a much more confined space to catch them. Uh, the important thing when you're going to catch sheep is that they are very fast. This is quite a good size pen. It's not too large, but it's not too small, so you've got time to move around. The key aspect of catching sheep is you have to be bold and quick and go for the animal uh, that you need to catch to do your examination. And the best way to do that is as much as possible trying to get the bunch of them in the corner because that slows them to an extent and then you can actually catch them. The important thing is to point out at this point is some of these sheep here, the, these are relatively small animals, but some of them have got horns. These are Scottish black-faced lambs. Strictly speaking, according to the codes of welfare, you should not grab the horns uh, when you want to try and restrain animals. Some people do do it in the industry. If you do happen to do it, uh, depending on the situation you're in, you have to be very careful and if when you grab the horn, you have to grab the ear at the same time to give you an extra anchor point. If you don't do that, the horns can rip off quite easily. It's not so big a problem in mature rams who've got very, very strong horns, but certainly in female animals and lambs, it's very easy for the horns to rip off and cause a, a lot of hemorrhaging. So if we go to pick one of uh, the, animal, the animal that's in the corner just now, number three, I'll show you how you would go in and actually restrain it. Okay, the key point about once you've got them restrained, and these are small animals, but the principles are the same, is you keep your leg and your weight against the animal, against the side, and your free hand, but whichever way it's, it's, uh, the animal's pointing, should be under the chin of the animal. Once you've got a, a hand under the chin of the sheep, it's really pretty well restrained. These, because these are small, they will actually wriggle up out much more. Now, if we wanted to cast the sheep, it's important that you don't get stuck too much in the corner, so you would have to actually bring the animal out. Whenever you are moving sheep, try not to grab the wool at all, whether in the initial catching or in moving them about, because it is, it is painful and it will cause damage to the underlying tissues. So if we move the animal out a bit, you can use the wool to as an anchor point, but certainly don't pull the animal about with the wool. Now you can cast up the sheep in two ways. The first, which is probably more applicable for small animals like this, is you can actually just pick them up and cast them right onto the rump. To do that, you need your one arm under the front, and the other arm, there's a loose skin in front of the back leg near the stifle, and that skin, you don't grab the wool, you grab the full fold of skin and then you just lift up and round and gently sit the animal on its rump. When the animal's there, lean it back slightly and it should sit there relatively happily to allow you to examine the feet or the other testes, depending on the sex of the animal. Some people also with uh, larger animals sometimes find it easy. You can flip one leg behind your leg and that can secure it a little bit more. And again, you can see I'm not even really holding on to the animal here. It's just gently sitting back, resting. To let the animal go, you just gently push forward and then it will get up and go away. Now I'll catch another animal to show you the alternative way of catching sheep and this is certainly what you would have to do for anything a little bit larger. So here we've got a little bit of a larger Texel lamb here. Still not too big and you could still probably quite easily pick this up. But for anything this size and bigger and especially mature using rams, you will pro most people will find it difficult to actually pick them up and it's not very good for your back either. So the key thing here is you actually, if you twist the neck and twist the head of the animal round towards the flank, so it's not dorsally right back, but it's round to the side. If you do that at the same time as putting pressure on the rump area, then the animal should fold over and you, you step back at the same time. So it's all in one movement. 
and then lift it up to the front. And again, so he can sit back. I'm not holding him. I've not even got the leg through. And he's quite happy sitting there. Important just to mention, you don't cast goats in this way. Although goats are very similar, they do not like being cast up in the rumps at all. So don't do this for goats, it's just sheep. And again, just to let them go, you just gently lean forward and that's that.